So this presentation is actually the two following presentations um, on the program. So I will give them together, uh, mixed together. Uh, so we'll present the two tasks that uh, we at the Big Young team are proposing for the Bionic B Open Share Tasks 2019. And um, so I am the one presenting that this is a collective effort from the Biblium team. Uh, we, there are three of us uh, in this uh, block. All right, so who we are? So for those who uh, don't know us yet, so we are part of the national French National Institute of Research in Agronomy. So uh, the main interest in this, for this uh, institute is agriculture and food science and uh, with a recent um, focus on environment sustainability and uh, food quality. And this institute has invested since uh, long years, uh, since the 60s, I think, in mathematics, applied mathematics, statistics, and bioinformatics, and computer science. And there's even an uh, NLP team, us, Biblium. Um, uh, we are uh, specialized in information extraction and uh, knowledge acquisition using natural language processing. So, researchers at INRA, what do they do? So, I've borrowed uh, my own image from uh, Berlin 2016. So, this is fun, but this is actually true. Uh, the INRA has, is, um, has a, a broad range of activities from the field uh, to the laboratory, and we spend a lot of time um, trying to find money. And, um, but actually, we spend a lot of time, every single minute of our, of our time, is reading, writing, and um, collecting what we will read and indexing it. Um, so what we do uh, in information extraction in general, um, the first thing is, is, since we are inside this institute, we need uh, solutions that actually work and that actually have bring some satisfaction to our colleagues, um, biologists mainly. Um, but of course, this solution must be uh, scientifically sound from the computer science point of view. So we are organizing these two tasks, CDEV and BB4, which are actually follow-up from tasks that we are already organized in 2016 and for the BB4, the bio, uh, bacteria biotopsy. It's a task that we have been um, uh, proposing since 2011. So there's a, a lot of diversity of, of, uh, uh, of things, that, uh, of, of biological subjects like plants and microbes, but also so a lot of diversity of tasks in these two tasks. Uh, there's a lot of, of uh, relation extraction, entity recognition, and uh, a recent focus on entity categorization or normalization, depends on which program we come from. Um, and uh, something I want to say is that uh, participants, uh, uh, teams that participate in this task, they have a, a an impact on, on, on actual biologists. Uh, the methods that are published, uh, they, they are actually read carefully and we either they, we use directly the, the, the tools or if we cannot, we, we get inspiration uh, from, from the papers uh, to build better tools. So the first one is CDEV. Oh, this is a plant, so this is an Arabidopsis, which is a kind of a cress. Uh, this is a model plant, so this is the equivalent of the mouse for plants. So the task definition is, is, a, is, is a molecular genetics, genetic molecular uh, biology uh, knowledge extraction task, um, in which we have uh, several different types of entities and relations uh, it is uh, quite a complex uh, schema, and um, 
uh, the last time we had uh, it had uh, quite of success uh, uh, some like seven participants but you see that the, the best scores are not so good yet it's still a complex uh, problem so for the next year uh, for the next uh, session we are offering the same corpus again we are not elaborating this corpus but we are proposing it again because it is still a very challenging task and we are seeing that people that are still using this um, this corpus uh, are not making uh, are making a progress but not that much so this is a for us it is a, an important task because it's it's comprehensive and uh, and um, so uh, for advertisement this is a task that focus on the relation extraction we give the name entities and uh, there's a, there are two subtasks one for binary extraction and another for NR extraction to our knowledge nobody has ever tried to uh, to tackle the NR relation extraction so the second uh, task bacteria biotopes so bacteria the, the thing is um, you want to study and extract knowledge about bacteria where they live and how they affect their uh, the, the place they, have, they, they live. So, for example, you have on the left side you have um, bad bacteria like anthrax and um, I can't remember, but there's something that causes the disease. And on the right side, uh, there are good bacteria, or at least uh, what we can obtain with good bacteria. Um, so, this is a simpler in the sense that. Uh, the, ta the, um, the concepts can be understood by a greater, uh, larger population, I think, uh, because uh, the goal was to extract the bacteria and where they live. Um, one thing that was uh, that is very exciting in this in this uh, uh, in this task is that uh, one of the subtasks is to link each entity. Uh, each name entity to, uh, to a, a reference. So for bacteria, it's the NCBI taxonomy, and for the habitats of bacteria, it's an ontology, it's a dedicated ontology of uh, bacteria habitats. Uh, so there are three subtasks. So one is the entity categorization, the other is events, which is purely a relation extraction, and KB, which is all the rounds study is that means uh, participants are to do and, uh, everything, uh, and, and the, the, the task is measured by the uh, the knowledge base they can uh, they can extract from from a corpus. So each task has two modalities with or without name entity. So it's very complete in terms of information extraction. So we had quite some uh, some participants last time. And we hope um, that we uh, that that people will continue to uh, to work on this corpus. So we have uh, seen that the continued use of these data sets, uh, the people are making more and more progress. And in particular, in the CAT subtask, the entity normalization or categorization subtask, um, people are, are doing better systems every day. And uh, ourselves, we are be, make, uh, making really good progress in this task also. Um, so in 2019, uh, we will increment this corpus um, uh, with, uh, for, for starting, we are uh, adding a new entity type, which is uh, quite, which has been asked for by our colleagues which is phenotypes, that is, uh, phenotypes is the property that is shown by uh, the, uh, the bacteria. Uh, can they live in, with oxygen or without oxygen in high temperatures or low temperatures and so on. So we added uh, this new entity type and this entity type is normalized also uh, with the um, uh, ontobiotope ontology. Uh, we are generalizing from bacteria to all mi microbes uh, this has, I won't go into detail, but this brings some problems, uh, unexpected problems. Um, we are, of course, updating uh, the ontology 
that means that the old corpus, the 2016 corpus, will be reassigned, each entity will be reassigned uh, uh, to take into account changes in this ontology which has been developed for three years in the meantime. And uh, depending on how fast we work or how good we are at, at annotating, uh, we will be adding more, more PubMed abstracts, especially from IGSEM, which is a specialized journal, which is uh, very rich in, in bacteria mentions and microbe mentions and, and their habitats. Uh, we will be adding also full text articles and maybe, if we have time, we wanted to try to, uh, to add MicroWiki arti articles. MicroWiki is kind of a Wikipedia for microorganisms, which is, a, which is uh, created by uh, in several universities. Um, so it's a very good source, but it's not uh, scientific articles, it's more um, uh, a vulgarization. Uh, source. So, some uh, acknowledgements. Uh, These uh, people there have been uh, involved in the, either in the annotation or helping uh, to set up uh, the corpus and the tasks. Um, some of, uh, most of them are from, uh, um, from the Biblium team, some are our colleagues, uh, biologists, and some are uh, people that uh, we work with uh, in information extraction. So uh, mainly from INRA and Université Paris-Saclay and funded by the Europe Science Foundation, in uh, particular the European Project of Magnet. So thank you.